Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, the top 10 interesting facts about the Winchester Mystery House. Described as one of the most haunted locations in America, the Winchester Mystery House attracts many visitors each year, hoping to catch a glimpse of the ghosts who are supposedly haunting this enormous house. While seeing a spirit isn't certain, what is definitely guaranteed is that visitors will explore one of the most unusual places in the world with a chilling history that is sure to leave guests with an experience like no other. This is an extremely odd location with very confusing architecture to say the least, and we're going to get Get into these unusual areas in a bit. It's a gigantic house with a lot going on. It's got staircases leading to nowhere, doors with walls behind them, confusing maze-like hallways, and ghosts who are said to be haunting this historic location. In the video today, we're looking at 10 of the many interesting and somewhat scary facts about the Winchester Mystery House. Number 10. Who was Sarah Winchester? Sarah Winchester was born in 1839 in Connecticut. She eventually married into the wealthy Winchester family, who were known for their ever-popular Winchester rifle. After the death of her husband, William, she inherited a huge fortune from her in-law's gun business. She then moved from New Haven, Connecticut to San Jose, California. This is where she bought a simple atrium cottage on many acres of land. But the simple home would soon become something unrecognizable as she had several carpenters who worked continuously on the home for 36 straight years years. Because of the many people who died as a result of being shot by the Winchester rifle, she believed her family was cursed. This is what ultimately led her to hire builders to endlessly work on her home. Number 9. The Great Earthquake of 1906 as legend has it, by 1906, the Winchester Mansion had 200 rooms, 10,000 windows, 47 fireplaces, 2,000 doors, and a seven-story high observation tower. Unfortunately, the Great San Francisco earthquake that year caused substantial damage to the house. Sarah Winchester was safe, but stuck in her daisy bedroom. Her staff had to dig her out of the room because the entrance was blocked by rubble. The terrified Sarah was sure that the angry spirits had caused the earthquake because she was almost finished with the construction. Therefore, she tore down the top three damaged floors, had 30 rooms sealed up, and continued building outward until her passing in 1922. Number 8. It's a Historical Landmark the Winchester Mystery House was named California Registered Historical Landmark No. 868 in 1974. Tours are offered to the public, and already over 12 million people have visited the famously eerie house. They also have special tours for Halloween and on Friday the 13th. In fact, the Friday the 13th tours offer a flashlight tour where guests explore the house after dark. And for those who love Halloween, they offer a very popular Halloween candlelight tour where you rely solely on the flickering light of your candle to guide you through the mansion. Tour guides will take the public to see 110 of the 160 rooms, which cover a total area of six acres. Guests will see a window built into the floor, stairs leading to the ceiling, doors which have walls behind them, and a whole lot more. The rooms that visitors see include Sarah's bedroom, her seance room, the grand's ballroom, etc. The tours also include a visit to the Victorian Gardens and the historic Firearms Museum, which showcase several vintage Winchester rifles. Number 7. The story of Sarah Winchester was made into a Hollywood movie. In early of February 2018, the movie Winchester was released in theaters. The movie stars Academy Award-winning actress Helen Mirren, who portrays Sarah Winchester in this supernatural thriller. The movie explains the life of Mrs. Winchester and her obsession with endless construction on her now-famous mansion. The movie opens to $9.3 million at the U.S. box office and has grossed more than $38 million to date worldwide. If you missed it in theaters, it's currently available to stream on various platforms. While this highly fiction Analyzed biography is the bizarre story of Mrs. Winchester's life. It is also said to send shivers down your spine at certain parts of the movie. Number 6. The Never-Ending House Construction to try and calm down the angry spirits that she believed were haunting her, Sarah Winchester made sure that the construction on her house went on non-stop, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, for 36 straight years. It continued right up until her death in 1922. She believed that if the construction stopped on her house, she would die. The construction happened around the clock in shifts of 16 carpenters who were paid three times higher than the going rate at the time. With a lot of advice from a medium, she believed that the doors that opened to walls and the stairways that went to the ceiling would confuse the ghosts enough to leave her alone. 
Each night, she would go to her seance room and contact the spirits to find out the next day's building instructions. She would meet with the foreman each morning to discuss her hand-sketched plans from the previous night. Number 5. It's said to be extremely haunted. Many visitors, employees, and tour guides have claimed to have experienced strange things at the Winchester House, such as catching strange images and orbs in pictures and videos. One of the most terrifying locations in the house is the third floor, where people claim to have heard footsteps as well as disembodied voices. It served as the living quarters for the servants, however, only a portion of the floor is accessible during tours. Many tour guides completely avoid the third floor corridors after dark. There is one ghost in particular that is often Often encounters, and that is a man wearing white overalls who is seen pushing a wheelbarrow to the coal chute in the basement. He is said, however, to be friendly and often tips his hat to people who encounter him. Although there have been many claims of paranormal activity at the house, the energy is said to be positive and the ghosts are said to be friendly. Number 4. Seances were performed in the house. Sarah Winchester believed that the deaths of her husband and baby daughter were caused by angry spirits who were killed by the Winchester rifle and were seeking retribution. She also believed that there was a curse on her family created by the thousands of victims who died from the gun. She spoke to a medium who informed her that she would continue to be tortured by the ghosts and victims of the rifle unless she built a house non-stop to either make the spirits happy or perhaps elude them. After the move to her new home in San Jose, she had seances every night at midnight so that she could receive the next day's building instructions from the ghosts. It is said that Mrs. Winchester was the only person who held a key to her seance room, which featured one entrance and three exits. Number 3. Doors, Corridors, and Strange Architecture there are doors found throughout the house that, when you open them, you will only find a solid wall on the other side. There are also small doors that lead into larger rooms, along with large doors that go into smaller rooms. One of the most disturbing areas of the house is located on the second floor, where a door opens directly to a two-story drop going straight down. There are also miles of twisted hallways and maze-like corridors, which sometimes lead to nothing but dead ends. While the house has 47 chimneys, some of them have an overhead ceiling. In some parts of the house, there are skylights which are either covered by another skylight or simply a roof. The strangest skylight has to be the one that's built directly into the floor. Another strange structure of the mansion are the upside-down pillars which are located all around the home. Number 2. Odd Staircases and Rooms there are many dead-end staircases located around the house which are said to have been built to confuse the ghosts who were haunting Sarah Winchester. Some stairwells lead to a door with a wall behind it, while others lead straight up to the ceiling. And what's even more unusual is that the stair posts were installed upside down. Some cabinet doors also open to nothing but a solid wall. One of the most unusual staircases in the home is in the shape of the letter Y. This was built so that the servants could travel quickly to three different levels of the mansion. One set of the Y-shaped stairs has only seven steps, while the other two each had eleven, and they all led to different parts of the house. Some of the bizarrely built rooms had windows and balconies located inside instead of outside. Other rooms were created to look like boxes inside of other boxes, with smaller rooms being built inside bigger rooms. Number 1. The Number 13 there are several occurrences in the house that relate to the number 13. Many of the windows have 13 panes, several of the stairways have 13 steps, many of the ceilings have 13 panels, there are 13 lights in many of the chandeliers, and there are 13 bathrooms in total. In the 13th bathroom, there are 13 stairs that lead up to it, and there are 13 windows found inside of the washroom. And if all of that is not odd enough, Sarah Winchester's will was divided into 13 parts and signed 13 times. Further, the carriage entrance hall is divided into 13 sections. There are 13 rails by the skylight, which is found on the floor in the South Conservatory, and there are 13 squares on each side of the elevator. In the seance room, there are 13 hooks for the 13 robes that Sarah wore while contacting the spirits. So I really hope you enjoyed that video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for brand new videos every single day. Also, I've got a podcast. It's called Brain Food, and it's educational, entertaining content just like this. It's a bit longer form, and it goes into a lot more depth on a specific subject, really getting into all of those fascinating little details. You can check it out through the link in the description below, or just by searching your favorite podcast app for Brain Food. And if you like this YouTube channel, you are sure to love that podcast. But if you want to watch something else, right now why not check out a related video from the top 10s archives over there on the right and as always thank you for watching